Because of the house of the Lord, our God, I will seek thy good. The place where you are in Dola. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed by thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine and the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and forever and ever. Amen. verses 19 through 23 from the New King, King James Version. Then the same day at, the, at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side, and the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. So Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you receive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Uh, this is the word of God for the people of God. Praise be to God. Amen. Word. 
We thank you for your presence, and may God bless you all. Amen.
Amen. All right, y'all. Stay quiet. <laughs> Yeah. 
Amen. Amen. Come on, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. y'all thought we was going to be jumping around and waving banners today. But the Spirit talked to me and said, you know you ain't got that much of a jumping around waving banner kind of church. <laughs> Let me breathe on them today. 
Pentecost was originally an agricultural festival, celebrating the first harvest of the growing season. Later, it became a commemoration of the giving of the land of Canaan to the people of Israel. And then even later, it morphed into an observance of the giving of the law of Moses on Mount Sinai. All those things are important. All those things are times of celebration. But nothing in any of those celebrations indicates the power that was unleashed on this day as described in the book of Acts. The day of Pentecost came like the sound of a violent wind, Luke tells us. It was fire. It was power. It was chaos to some and noise to others. But it also had a meaning, a meaning that was hope. And then to be filled with the power to be, the power to grow, the power to love as Christ loved. That's what Pentecost is all about. It's not just a birthday commemoration. Remember I had y'all say happy birthday church. It's not just a marker along the road as we journey. It's not just a milestone that we pass in our life. You know those milestone birthdays? 10, 20, amen, 21, hallelujah. Uh, it's a moment of power and offering of transformation. Before the account of the Holy Spirit in the book of Acts, there was the gospel of John. And we'll call this a quieter Pentecost. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. He breathed. And he spoke a powerful word. Peace. Jesus spoke peace once before to them. It's recorded in John chapter 14 where he said, Peace I leave with you. And now he says, Peace be with you. Sounds the same kind of, doesn't it? What's the difference? Not much of a distinction between them except this. Life. And death. The first was on the threshold of death. The second was in the glaring light of the resurrection. That's what separated them, the last breath. He breathed his last, Luke says. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. He didn't speak it. He cried it out loud. Somehow Jesus pushed himself up on the spikes driven through his feet, 
straining the nails through his hands so he can catch enough breath to cry, Father, into my hands I commend my spirit. And then he breathed his last. Except that he didn't. What you talking about, Pastor? Because he breathed again. He breathed some more. He showed himself. He breathed on them. And he breathed peace. Receive the Holy Spirit. The spirit he commended to God, the very spirit he returned it unto us with a breathe on me. Say it with me. Breathe on me. Lord Jesus. Say it again. Breathe on me. Lord Jesus. In the heat of the moment, in the struggle of living and loving and finding our way in a complicated world. Breathe on me, Lord Jesus. You hear me, children? When it gets rough in school, when it gets hard, just say, breathe on me, Lord Jesus, and he'll bring you peace. Leave a man say, breathe on me, Lord Jesus. And he'll bring you peace right now. Hallelujah. Give us peace. Not a peace that resolves every issue. Oh no, that makes life too easy. Not a peace that fixes everything that is broken. No, because our hands need something to do. We got to put things together. Oh Lord. Not a peace that removes responsibility or the covenant that we made with God. Hallelujah. That answers every question. That removes every doubt. Breathe on me that I, that we might find peace. Peace enough to continue on this journey on which we find ourselves. Peace enough to work towards resolutions. Peace enough to mend the broken or that allows me to live with grace, hello, and with confidence. Peace that breathes through responsibilities, peace that lifts up and binds us together, peace that casts out our fear, peace that converts a soul to serve a living Savior, a breath that knocks you out of darkness and brings some light up into this situation. Is it self-generated peace? No, no, no. We don't create it, we receive it. We receive it, a breath that makes dry bones live. A breath that comes from elsewhere, not within our way, within our atmosphere, comes from the highest heavens, a breath from beyond us. It's a gift of joy, an unexpected encounter, a cool breeze that fills the sails and sends us across the horizon into new worlds of love and joy. It is a promise fulfilled. For he said, peace I leave with you. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus breathed on them. Yes. We know we don't want nobody up in our space breathing hard, especially these days. He's talking about put on a mask. I don't care if the emergency is over. But you know what? <laughs> the breath of our Lord goes beyond the coverings on our faces. It penetrates beyond the exterior of our lives. It goes deep within your heart and down to your soul. You want Jesus to breathe on you. 
you want to receive this spirit of holiness this very same spirit that converted Saul, a Christian bounty hunter, to Paul, a determined preacher and teacher of the risen Savior. Receive this spirit of holiness. And then love. Love as he loved you enough to breathe on you. Love. From the strong center of this peace, from the contentment of faith, of putting your hands in the source of love and joy and peace, lean into it, rest upon it, trust it, receive it, for Jesus breathe on you. Jesus breathe on me. Holy Spirit. Breathe on me, God. Fill me with life anew that I may love what thou dost love. And do what thou wouldst have me to do. Breathe on me, God, till I am holy thine, till all this earthly part of me glows with fire divine. Peace be with you. Receive the Holy Spirit. The doors of the church are open. Let it breathe on me. Stand to your feet.
If there be anyone in this place who doesn't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior, if there be anyone in these sacred spaces of worship who have not received the breath of the Lord on them, the doors of the church are open. Now it's time to let him breathe on you. Receive his breath of salvation. The doors of the church are open. If there be anyone in these sacred worship spaces who does not have a church home, hallelujah, and you're looking for a place, amen, you're looking for a place, amen, to worship. Greater St. John's arms are wide open, hallelujah, to receive you, to walk with you on this journey of life and salvation. The doors of the church are open. Let it breathe on me. Let it Smith, followed by our announcements by Miss Lakia Hayden. Amen. 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 Our offertory sentence as Leanna comes, we give thee but thine own, whatever the gift may be, all that we have is thine alone, a trust, O oh Lord, for thee.
Good morning, Pastor Bowman. Good morning, Lakina. Good morning, Christian. Good morning. Good morning. And good morning, church. Today I'll be reading the congregation announcements for today, May 28. Coronavirus updates. The federal government ended the COVID-19 public health emergency on May 11th, 2023. COVID-19 remains a public health priority. It has impacted all aspects of daily life and contributed to a, and contributed to a decline in life expectancy. Many people remain at higher risk for severe illness and death. However, we are in a much better place than we were three years ago. Widespread prevention and control measures like vaccination are helping transition to a new era in a pandemic. Please be aware that we have high-risk members of our congregation and therefore we request that when we're in close proximity of each other, that you not be offended when asked to please wear a mask. Also, please remember to remove all items from the pews every week before you leave. Thank you for keeping yourselves and others safe. For current updates, visit the, visit the City of Chicago COVID-19 website, chicago.gov. Our Sunday worship services begin at 10.30 a.m. To join in the Zoom meeting app or website, use the meeting ID 814-2933-2060. Passcode capital G S J 2020. To call in, dial 1312-626. 6799. Meeting ID 814-293320060 pound. Passcode 426-8537 In-person service at Greater St. John AME 6201 South Troop Street, Chicago, Illinois 60636. We are on YouTube. Please subscribe to the Greater St. John YouTube channel once we reach 50 subscribers. We will be able to live stream our worship service. You can view each Sunday worship experience on YouTube. Thank you for the Joshua Manning Media Ministry. The evening Bible study and prayer will be Tuesday, May 30th, 2023 at 8 p.m. Topic, Jonah, Navigating a Life Interrupted. Please join us Saturday, June 3rd, 2023 at 10 a.m. for Sabbath School on the Conference Bridge number at 1774-220-4000. ID 12440 pound. The topic is God reigns Isaiah chapter 52 verse 7 through 12. The third quarterly conference has been changed to Saturday, June 3rd, 2023 at 12.30 p.m. on the church's Zoom number. Real Orange Weekend, June 2nd through 4th, 2023 to end gun violence. The WMS Moms Demand Action for Global Gun Awareness. Please wear a touch of orange on Sunday, on Sunday, June 4th, 2023. YPD Sunday is June 11th, 2023. More information is forthcoming. Sister Mary Jo Hayden, YPD Director. Class Leaders Day is June 25th, 2023, during morning worship at 10.30 a.m. More information is forthcoming. Sister Rosalie DePaslin, President. Dr. Darlene Reynolds will be honored at the 81st Annual Lay Meeting of the 4th Episcopal District Lay Organization, African Methodist Episcopal Church, as one of the Women of Faith Gala on Sunday, June 25, 2023. Please see the flyer in the rear of the church for more information. June meeting dates. All meetings will be on the church's Zoom number. June 3rd, the third quarterly conference at 12.30 p.m. June 5th, Greater St. John Lay Organization at 7 p.m. June 7th, the Finance Committee at 4 p.m. June 8th, Class Leaders Meeting at 6.30 p.m. June 10th, Maddie Reeves Women's Missionary Society at 11 a.m. June 21st, Finance Committee 4 p.m. Um, the Stool Board Meeting at 6 p.m. and the Trustee Board Meeting at 7 p.m. June 2023 birthdays, June 1st, Brandy Foster, June 3rd, Miss Edna Johnson, June 5th, Miss Dominique Hayden, June 7th, Miss Liana Santos Smith, June 8th, Miss Tiana Tapley, June 15th, Roman Maddox, June 16th, Lila May Hayden, June 21st, Lavani Hayden, June 24th, Miss Jennifer. Laurent, June 25th, Miss Carol Houston. Those are announcements for today.